So, bipolar. Here's the thing. Uh, there have been a lot of recent media portrayals of bipolar disorder that are not strictly accurate. And by not strictly accurate, I mean fucking wrong. Allow me to explain. You see, bipolar disorder is 90% of the time, possibly even 99% of the time, to my knowledge, uh, not a psychotic disorder. Yeah. People with bipolar disorder don't usually have psychotic episodes unless they have another schizo disorder, something on the schizophrenic spectrum or uh, some sort of psychosis to begin with uh, or brain tumor but just bipolar disorder you're not gonna get psychosis and hallucinations and paranoia to my knowledge uh, paranoia especially is indicative of pretty much anything but bipolar disorder people will tend to note manias as feeling even possibly more aware of social situations. They're more friendly, or they're easier to anger, or any other number of things that are absolutely not like they are shown in movies and TV. And there was a movie, apparently, which I have not seen, and I probably will not for this very reason, was nominated for an Oscar, which apparently portrayed uh, bipolar disorder and was touted as being a really accurate and hard-hitting portrayal and no just no I'm I've been watching or started to watch um, Homeland and the main character in Homeland claims to have bipolar disorder just bipolar disorder and there are two problems with that um, for the most part they played it well uh, it's fairly accurate in terms of representation of a severe manic episode and a severe depression and a really, really severe untreated bipolar patient. Untreated. Problem number two, though, is that the medication rattled off that she is taking, or rather taking it appropriately, has nothing to do with bipolar disorder. Clonazepam is not an antipsychotic. Clonazepam is most frequently prescribed for insomnia. It's technically a medication designed for anxiety disorders, which is why it works as a sleep aid. It makes you sleepy. It makes you tired. It calms you down to the point of where you can sleep. Most of the people that I know who take it or have taken it before take it for sleeping. It's not an antipsychotic not by any stretch of the imagination. They also prescribe her lithium. Now, if this were 1985, yeah, that'd be a legit prescription. Even 1995, but 2012? No. Lithium is shown to be fairly mm, unhelpful with bipolar disorder. It doesn't really do what you need it to do. If you want to take a medication for a bipolar disorder, you take a mood stabilizer. You don't s sedate someone, you just even them out. That's why we have mood stabilizers. For example, the one that I take, Lamictal, uh, the, the purpose of a mood stabilizer is that people with bipolar disorder live their life in two extremes. You have the extremely low lows, which are severe depression, and then you have the highs, which are the manias. Most people get a little bit of each, a little bit of each. Bipolar disease people, we rock it back and forth. Not necessarily rock it, there's different speeds. Most people, it happens over a course of several weeks or several months. I happen to be a very rapid cycler, and I will hit a mania for three or four days, and then a depression for a few weeks, and then back again. Um, and my friend's mother is even more severe and will go back and forth within one day. Um, the purpose of a mood stabilizer is to basically block off each part. So you only get this high and you only get this low. And that evens you out into a normal keel. It doesn't sedate you until you have no feelings anymore. It doesn't eliminate your personality. It just keeps you even and normal. And I have a hard time getting this across to people. Let me give you an example. 
Hello, friend. How's the bipolar disorder going? Oh, you know, bipolar. But actually, pretty good. Good? Really? Yeah. Good. So, you're not gonna, like, go crazy? Nope. But you're medicated. Like, taking drugs. Yes. Yes, I am. So, what, you're like, normal? Yep. Oh. Huh. So, that's why it's normal. Take your meds, you're fine. Most people take their meds, because honestly, uh, most people don't want to feel like shit. And uh, taking your medication means you don't feel like shit. Who'd have thunk it? <sighs> so next time you see bipolar on TV, or pretty much any mental disorder on TV, please, please don't believe it. And if someone close to you tells you or expresses to you that they have one of these illnesses or are experiencing problems, don't judge them for it. Don't ask them if they're crazy. Don't ask them why they're taking drugs. Don't ask them any of this shit. If a person has leukemia, would you badger them about getting cancer? Man, I heard you got cancer. How's that cancer going? Are you taking some serious drugs for that cancer, right? No. Mental disorders, they're not fun. Nothing about them is fun. Nothing about being sick is fun. And to treat it like something horrible and something that only happens to super crazy people is really unfair and really hurtful. So please judge less, listen more. Just kind of makes the world a nicer place, I think. Okay, we out.